It rained on the day Chris Gale paraded for one last time. Virat Kohli stars in yet another stellar chase and shouldn't Shreyas Iyer have played the World Cup as well? If you missed the third ODI, here's our match story and it has got you covered. The toss was news this time in the third ODI because for the first time in this series, the West Indian captain won the toss and chose to bat. Now, we've been talking about the West Indian openers and them not doing well throughout the limited overs leg, but guess what? Today outwalked the man playing his 301st ODI. Yes, Christopher Henry Gale, and he just tore through the Indian bowlers, followed by Evan Lewis, but he was the chief destroyer. In the first four overs, West Indies scored 13. In the next six, they scored 101 runs at over 16 runs per over. Yes, that was the level of the carnage on the day. Then all it took was one ball from Khalil, one catch from Virat Kohli, and it ended not only a fine, fine half century from Christopher Henry Gale, but also an error. An error of the biggest marauder of the cricket ball on the field. An error of the biggest showman this format has ever seen. An error of Chris Gale. So if indeed you walked back for one last time today, it's a thank you from all of us fans, from all of us fans of this beautiful game, because no one entertained us like you did, Chris Gale. Well, everyone was so emotional throughout the game that the, the heavens decided to open up. It started raining, the game got curtailed. West Indies did come out to bat for their last leg of 13 overs in a match curtailed to 35 overs, and they scored 240 runs. Now, India come out to chase 255 because DLS, and they lose Rohit Sharma early to a run out. Now, how many times has it happened that Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan have been involved in a confusion? Well, this time it did. Shikhar Dhawan and Virat Kohli did try and steady the ship, but not for long. Shikhar Dhawan was gone too. In at four was Rishabh Pant, who played yet another disappointing shot and got out for a duck. Shreya Sayer came into bat with the required run rate still hovering at around seven runs per over, with Virat Kohli batting at the other end. While Virat Kohli was still playing his shots, the one man who stood up today was Shreyas Iyer. He stood up, he wanted you to notice him with all the shots that he played and scored a fine half century that brought India within touching distance of a win. But if India is within touching distance of a win, guess who raises his hand? Inevitably, it's Virat Kohli. And today he did the same, scoring his 43rd one-day international century. Yes, let that sink in. 43rd ODI century to cruise India to a win. This man is special. He's a sacred player of a sacred game and he almost always sees India through. So that is that from the ODI series. West Indies get out of this series with more questions than they came into this series with and also maybe a legend less. India, well, they go out with a trophy and maybe, just maybe, an answer to their question around number four batsman.